Heredity, Inheritance and Variation Non-Mendelian Patterns of Inheritance In grade 8, you learned that cells divide to produce new cells and meiosis is one of the processes producing genetic variations in Mendelian patterns of inheritance. In grade 9, you will focus on describing the location of genes in chromosomes, explain the different patterns of non-Mendelian inheritance, and describe the molecular structure of the DNA. Gregor Mendel's principles form the base for the understanding of heredity and variation. Although Mendel's work failed to discuss thoroughly the factors or genes he mentioned in his loss of inheritance, his findings prompted other scientists to probe further into the mystery of heredity. Several researches were conducted after the rediscovery of Mendel's work. Walter Sutton and Theodore Bovary became popular because they found the best evidence that an inherited trait is determined by chromosomes. Chromosome theory of inheritance explained that genes are in the chromosomes. Mendelian laws of inheritance have important exceptions to them. For example, not all genes show simple patterns of dominant and recessive alleles. In this module, you are expected to explain the different patterns of non-Mendelian inheritance. Heredity explains why offspring resemble, but are not identical to, their parents and is a unifying biological principle. Heredity refers to specific mechanisms by which characteristics or traits are passed from one generation to the next via genes. Genes encode the information for making specific proteins, which are responsible for the specific traits of an individual. Each gene can have several variants called alleles, which code for different variants of the trait in question. Genes reside in a cell's chromosomes, each of which contains many genes. Every cell of any individual organism contains the identical set of chromosomes. When organisms reproduce, genetic information is transferred to their offspring. In species that reproduce sexually, each cell contains two variants of each chromosome, one inherited from each parent. Thus, sexual reproduction gives rise to a new combination of chromosome pairs with variation between parent and offspring. Very rarely, mutations also cause variations, which may be harmful, neutral, or occasionally advantageous for an individual. Environmental, as well as genetic variation, and the relative dominance of each of the genes in a pair play an important role in how traits develop within an individual. Complex relationships between genes and interactions of genes with the environment determine how an organism will develop and function. Genotype versus Phenotype An organism's genotype is the set of genes that it carries. An organism's phenotype is all of its observable characteristics, which are influenced both by its genotype and by the environment. For example, differences in the genotypes can produce different phenotypes. In these house cats, the genes for ear form are different, causing one of these cats to have normal ears and the other to have curled ears. A change in the environment also can affect the phenotype. Although we often think of flamingos as being pink, pinkness is not encoded into their genotype. The food they eat makes their phenotype white or pink. In the Mendelian patterns of inheritance, the effects of the recessive gene are not observed when the dominant gene is present. Incomplete dominance In incomplete dominance, a heterozygote shows a phenotype that is intermediate between the two homozygous phenotypes. Neither allele is dominant over the other. An example of incomplete dominance is flower color in 4 o'clock plant. Like those shown in figure 1, when a pure red flowered 4 o'clock plant is crossed with a pure white flowered 4 o'clock plant, the offspring will produce neither red nor white flowers. Instead, all flowers will be 
Figure 1. Palette square showing a cross between red and white 4 o'clock flowers. In incomplete dominance, it is only the phenotype that is intermediate. The red and white alleles remain separate and distinct. Half the gametes of the pink 4 o'clock carry the allele for red and half carry the allele for white. Therefore, the genotypic ratio also becomes the phenotypic ratio. Key Concepts Incomplete dominance is a form of intermediate inheritance in which one allele for a specific trait is not completely dominant over the other allele. This results in a third phenotype in which the expressed physical trait is a combination of the dominant and recessive phenotypes. Codominance Another pattern of inheritance is codominance. This results when one allele is not dominant over the other. The resulting heterozygotes exhibit the traits of both parents. One example of codominance is the MN blood typing in humans. On the surface of our red blood cells are proteins bound to sugar molecules, forming complexes called antigens. One group of antigens are controlled by a pair of alleles, LM and LN. The pairing of these alleles will determine the blood type of an individual, and there are three, M, MN, and N. Table 1 summarizes the genotypes and phenotypes of the MN blood typing in humans. Table 1, Human MN blood types and their genotypes. Note that in the heterozygote condition, both LM and LN alleles are expressed in that the red blood cells will have the M and N antigens. Just like in incomplete dominance, the genotypic ratio in codominance also becomes the phenotypic ratio. Key Concepts In codominance, both alleles are expressed equally in the phenotype of the heterozygote. For example, red cows crossed with white cows will have offspring that are roan cows. Roan refers to cows with red hair and white blotches. Multiple alleles. Sometimes, even if only two alleles control a trait, there may actually be more than two types of alleles available. This will also lead to more than two phenotypes expressed. Another blood group system in humans, the ABO system, is an example of a character governed by multiple alleles. Three alleles are responsible for this blood system, IA, IB, and I. The ABO blood type is determined by the presence or absence of two antigens, A and B. Allele I does not code for an antigen. There are four possible blood types as shown in Table 2. Table 2 human ABO blood types and their phenotypes. The IA and IB alleles are dominant over the I allele, which is always recessive. However, when the IA and IB alleles are inherited together, both alleles are expressed equally. This also makes IA and IB codominance of each other. Key concepts. In humans, there are four blood types, A, B, AB, and O. Blood type is controlled by three alleles, A, B, and O. O is recessive. Two O alleles must be present for a person to have type O blood. A and B are codominant. If a person receives an A allele and a B allele, their blood type is type AB.